Hello people off the internet. Uh, ooh, less than 10% battery remaining. Let's start this again with a fresh battery. Bugger. Hold up. Hello people off the internet. Right, let's get this uh, let's get this installed, okay? Now, I can only do one door and the reason for that is I'm waiting for a panel surround, you know, on your sliding door, I have, I have a blind. So I'm waiting for the panel to arrive, which should be here next week. So I can only do the back door. But before I do that, this is like a double product review video thing. I got these off vehicle blinds and they arrived in super quick time. Sorry for the noise. My joiner neighbor is building things. I'm gonna fit one of these to this window now so we can see size. Oh. That's the front windscreen. Why am I up so big? Nope, passenger, passenger, passenger. Oh, oh, beautiful. So it's got these sucker fitment attachments and the bag's full of them. So you put the wee suckers on. Wee suckers, just push them in and they sit there. It says on the instructions, you don't need to lick them. They're strong enough as they are. And if they come off, stay on the window. It's just a little tab, you give that a pull and that'll take them off. Right, let's get you on my head and I'll show you what this looks like. So here we have suckers attached, reflective side out. Okay. Look at that, like a glove over the duper. There. Push them up a bit. Look at that, that's class. Right, so now I know where I can position my first door sensor. So take it out of the box. There's a link to these in the description and to this crowd here as well. We have the remote, sweet. So that arms it, disarms it, electrifies it. Wouldn't that be great if you could electrocute them? We have a sticky tab, two of them that fit in them spaces there. You can see square cutouts. This is there to arm it to obviously connect it from from the battery so there's a battery protector in there let's get this fitted obviously i wanted we're going to stick it there because it needs to be near the door handle all right and it can't fit there that's probably as close as i can get it it could go there actually because it feels a vibration let's get this off second stickles pull the top I'm going to stick it there. Right. Let's give it a blast. Ooh, Jesus. Loud enough. Armed. Unarmed. Nice little construction of the key ring. Now, obviously, because I've got two of these, two boxes of these, that's the other one. And that's going to go on the door, the sliding door, once I've got that trim. Oh, in here, I do need a SIM card. So, the big box. In here, we have a rechargeable GPS track. Sticky pads for that as well. Or you can screw them in. Recharge you. We can, uh, there we go. We flap. There we go. Recharger, USB. Oh, it acts as a USB hub as well. Look at that, hey, not bad. We torch. So the, what they've done is they've designed it to look like a flashlight. Oh, I've activated it. Don't want to do that. So we've got LEDs on the back there. So we're going to put the SIM card in, in the bottom. And they've said to use the MIDI size, not the mini. Snap that out. We get the SIM card. It's giving you instructions on which side to put it in. There's a little shape. Push it in sits in now before i use this i'm going to stick it on charge and give it a good top up right so let's give this a test of fuzziness oh my uh swing arm table leg thing has arrived for the t4 so i'm going to mount that there and then have that as a table sitting i've got the table back in the back i'm gonna have a table here for the wife to work from so that's it armed Ooh. Oh, 
Now apparently if you try it again, so let's lock it. All right, let's just test it. Right, door's locked. All right, so you know yourself, you shut that down. That's on nice. So we'll just give it a, a test sample. Arm it. Door's locked. That's it armed. That's a warning. That's telling somebody. And then if we go again. Oh. Disarmed. Testing. Ah, it's a test. Just to let you know your battery's live. Would you believe it? It started to bloody rain. It wasn't supposed to rain today. Fuck. Sonic. Let's lock everything up. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put these together. These blinds. I think it could have done with another one. Another sucker in the middle. Because it's starting to sag. But no, I do love them. I do love them. Right. I'm gonna put these together and then stick them on. Join me in a second, where we will then be positioning the van alarm main module. See you in a bit. Good morning, day two. Why is it day two? Right, so the van alarm system, in terms of the vibration locks, they're great. No problem with them at all. The problem I have is that the controller unit, which is a GPS tracker, which is also connected to a SIM card, that's taking a little bit longer to uh, get a GPS. Um, so I've left it out, sitting on the fence out there, out in the open. I've already positioned it in the top of the, um, in top of the van, so it looks like a torch. It's going to pretend it's a torch but it's basically a gps tracker if you're watching this video and you're thinking of nicking it have other devices and trackers in here okay we have an update the gps tracker that looks like a torch is now in position i tried to find a place within the van that i could get it to get a gps signal but what i failed to remember is i pretty much turned this whole van into a faraday cage and the reason for that is everything is so like tinfoil wrapped and all insulated the whole thing the whole van is insulated so Try and get a signal out of a tin foil bag is going to be difficult. So I've had to position it near the windows. The app itself, yeah, it's, it's it's a bit, I wouldn't say it's the greatest app in the world, but it's not theirs. It's like a third party app that they've sort of tagged their own. I think they're just reselling. I, I think they've just rebranded some of these devices and using this anywhere, anytime sort of app thing. Now it is, it does work. You just need to get the phone act. So they send you a SIM card, get that activated, get that inserted. Uh, it's a 1plmobile.com Note down your mobile number because you'll need it to top up and you need to register your at your own mobile as a top up source that it knows uh, when you top it up it's it's for that sim card in your GPS track. It's a little bit confusing but the instructions that they send you are great okay and then there's a lot of videos within their website that go through uh, the various settings that you need to consider and if you've got any questions. So the the one thing that I had is because I've got two door sensors, they've got two individual key fobs. I didn't want that. So I positioned them where I needed them and I'm like, how do I get the key fob to work on both? So I did a quick search on their website and then you have to take them off again. You have to take, open it up, they give you a little screwdriver and this little blue thing that helps you part them so that you can open the lid. You lift the batteries out, take them off for 30 seconds, push them back in, then it gets an SOS alarm and then you do some jiggery pokery with your key fob and then that pairs it to the second one. While you've done that, you also have to deactivate that one. But when you've got the second one paired, you could just put the battery back in and that was already paired to your key fob. So what you're really doing is retraining that, but telling that to ignore you for a minute. Just consider that before you start positioning them that you need to consider where you're going to put them. The second thing you need to think about is they've got really good sticky bat tabs on there. You're probably going to need another pack because you're going to at some point have to change the batteries in these. Unless you position them upside down, it doesn't matter to them, they don't care if they're upside down, that you can get to the screw hole so that you can do the parting thing while it's in situ and swap out the batteries. They're like triple A's, uh, long life triple A's. They're pretty good. So I've got my door sensor into the sliding door. Uh, I haven't put the panel on. The reason I haven't put the panel on is I've put the blind on. I'm sort of regretting that now because it's a noisy bastard when you're driving because all you can hear is the, the blind springs. I was going to put the panel on, but the, the blind comes out too far. So I've just positioned the alarm. Now back to the GPS tracker. When you arm that and it is triggered, it will send you a text message. It will flag up on the app uh, that you have an update. And it's just, to, well, no, it's, it sends you a text message telling you to look at the app because there's been some activity that you've set. So there's three activities you can set. One is vibration, two is movement, three is sound. You have to individually arm them all three. So you send it and what 
what the app's doing essentially is sending a text message to that device via the app. Yeah. And then if any of those three occurrences happen, you get a text message telling you something's not right. And then you go onto your app and you can see if your van's pissed off somewhere. But the alert, the GPS tracker doesn't have an alarm in it. No, that's not actually true. So what you can do is within the app is set the GPS system to have a siren on or off. And I've chosen it to be in the off position. That way it doesn't draw attention to itself if the van is stolen. And I used it last night, funny enough. We were driving around. Uh, my wife was, and that's the thing you see, my wife was trying to find a house and I just lose the flashlight and I was shining on people's doors just for the house numbers. So it's a practical, it's a practical thing. Now the app also tells you what the GPS tracker's battery life is like, so you can top it up. Now I did have a problem earlier that I couldn't get a GPS signal. And that's because my van's parked between two houses. I had positioned it up the top, swapped that, put it out near the window and that's it that's it sound it's working great in terms of tracking it i live near the sea for some reason it keeps thinking my van's in the sea it's not i know where it is and then i've got my backup um hidden tracker in here anyway so it's all good it's all good door alarm i'll show you where it is door alarm number one door alarm number two yeah i didn't position it upside down because i'm a moron i'm just gonna get more sticky tabs there's my blind ikea very nice You're very nice these pissing strings oh my god so loud and the gps tracker in position there i can see what's going it can see what's going on in the outside world <laughs> i'm going to put a link in the description for these devices i'm not affiliated with them i'm not sponsored by them I, it was just something i wanted a quick cheap install and it actually does the trick they're quite loud when they go off obviously they're inside the van and my van's quite insulated but if the thieves open the door open the doors beep 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 gps trackers switched on to sound so it's listening to these and it's obviously also listening to somebody if somebody smashes my glasses the, the glass windows all right so if you, if you get a loud noise it's going to send you there's something not right with your van check it out so you, you can either have a look out the window run down with an axe i bought an axe i bought an axe no i didn't buy it for that reason but i did buy an axe to chop wood for my little firewood burner thing so because when we buy the blocks they're usually too big for this well they're not but they are yeah that's it they just need trimmed down a bit. So I bought a big ass axe. So I'm going to pick that up in Glasgow when we're going to Glasgow. Uh, we're heading off today. So I've got to go. I've got loads to pack. Um, my wife's pretty much filled all her stuff in here. Now I've got to find some room to put my stuff. And she's still got two more bags to put in here. But yeah, road trip, here we go. But van alarm, definitely get it. The Auto Blinds Company, linking again, description below. Definitely going to recommend them. Their, their products are really good. I've got my passenger window ones up here. And I've got the front driver window in my cupboard down here where we keep all the bedding. It makes sense just to put it there. And it fits perfectly. So, yeah, until the next video, guys, I will see thee later. Like and subscribe!